by now, you've heard about it. The coronavirus or COVID-19 is the pandemic that is sweeping the globe. And by now, you've probably heard about some of the safety measures you should be taking to lower or prevent your risk of being infected. But in today's day and age, when information is coming from everywhere, including social media platforms, it might be hard to weed out some of the misinformation. In an effort to clear some of these myths up, we spoke to New York-based Dr. Louisa Petrie, a board-certified cardiologist and health expert to verify or debunk some coronavirus myths that are circulating. A face mask will protect you from COVID-19. The answer is no. The regular mask that you buy over the counter or the surgical mask, they are not sealing your nose breach or over your mouth. Therefore, you still can breathe air around them and these viral particles can float in tiny droplets up to three hours. Therefore, it does not protect you. The only mask that can protect someone is the N95 hospital-based respirators because they are sealing 100%, they are well-fitted, but they are only for healthcare providers. Drinking more water will flush the coronavirus from your system. That's a myth. Hydration is important for a body to function properly and to recover from illness, but hydration does not flash the virus. Number one, the virus lives inside the cell, so hydration has nothing to do with that. Holding your breath for 10 seconds without coughing means no infection. Used as a clinical tool to determine if someone is short of breath or not, so it's only for screening purposes. Many people can have coronavirus and they can be asymptomatic and they have no shortness of breath. So this test alone is irrelevant just for diagnosis purposes. It's only used to determine if someone needs to seek more medical attention. You can protect yourself from COVID-19 with home remedies. Bottom line, no, it does not protect you from catching the coronavirus. However, there are a lot of home remedies that can help boost your immunity. And indeed, garlic is one of them, the same as vitamin C, vitamin D rich foods, and zinc or echinacea. Young people and children can't get coronavirus. It's absolutely a myth. Young people and children do get coronavirus, but for unknown reasons, they have milder symptoms and some many cases they're actually asymptomatic. According to the United States, 40% of hospital beds are taken by people under the age of 54. Age is not a defense in this viral spread. Coronavirus will go away or recede in warmer weather. That's a good assumption. We extrapolate from the other viruses that they tend to uh, go down in summer times, mostly the flu. Viruses do become more unstable in higher humidity and higher temperature. However, the cons of this are that we've seen MERS. MERS started in Saudi Arabia in September, and it was hot at that time, so that would go against this theory. Also keep in mind that if it's summer one hemisphere, it's gonna be winter the other hemisphere, so we might run into cycles of uh, viral spread. You can get coronavirus from the mail. There are no case reports of coronavirus transmitted through mail. However, we do have a study that came out uh, recently that showed that the viral particles can be viable on paper or cardboard for up to 24 hours. So if you think about that, if you wanna take extra uh, precautions, you might keep your mail outside or untouched for 24 hours. Your pet can contract COVID-19. So far, there is no evidence that pets can transmit the virus. It was one case reported in China. However, that was thought to be cross-contamination from the owner. But right now, the answer is no. We have no evidence that our pets can take coronavirus. The coronavirus can be transmitted via mosquitoes. Mosquito transmission is called vector transmission. So right now, we only know that coronavirus is transmitted by a direct contact person to person, not via vector. So right now, we have no evidence to support that. If you contract coronavirus once, you can't get it again. No, 
Uh, most viruses, once you catch them, your body builds a memory immune response, and that can last for a while. We don't know how long the memory is going to last in case of coronavirus. Like for instance, if you have polio vaccine, you can have protection for the rest of your life versus if you have tetanus shot, it's only for 10 years. So if you get a, the flu shot, it's only for the season. So we don't know how long coronavirus immunity is going to protect us, but it's likely that we'll have at least short-term protection. We know that coronavirus is very contagious compared to the flu. One positive person can spread it on average to three other people. That means it's a logarithmic spread, exponential spread. If you look at the flu, in average, one positive person can spread it only to one to 1.2 people. So looking at this exponential growth and how contagious it is, it's really important to decrease the social velocity. Less people come in contact, it's like particles moving. It's less they can catch the disease and spread it to other people. And that's important in that concept that we've been hearing, flattening the curve. Less social velocity, you have less cases in a certain time, so you allow the distribution to be more evenly in time so the healthcare system can cope with that. As we continue to battle this pandemic, it is important to remember that not everything we read or hear may be true, as we learn from Dr. Petrie. Be sure to follow the latest guidelines for COVID prevention on hand sanitizing, hand washing, and COVID prevention. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and comment. Stay up with Cheddar's latest by hitting that subscribe button.